If you're thinking about purchasing a new monitor, then choosing the right one for you and your PC can be difficult. There's so much to choose from nowadays and you want to make sure that you get the best for your budget. So I'm going to help you through the process today and give you some things to consider before you make your purchase. As the title suggests, this is going to be heavily focused on the eSports side of gaming. But if you want to see another video where I break down monitor features for general gaming, then make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel and leave a comment down below. There are three key areas that I'm going to focus on today. FPS, which links to your refresh rate, picture quality or resolution and response time. At the end of the video, there'll be a brief section on some other aspects to consider when buying a monitor, but for this video, I think these three are the most important. Let's begin with FPS and the refresh rate of your monitor. Now, when I say FPS, I'm not talking about first person shooters, but instead about frames per second. This is how many frames or still images are shown on your screen each second. The higher the frames per second, the smoother the image that you'll see on your screen. In competitive eSports games, your FPS is arguably the most important part of your experience, as a game running at 30 FPS, for example, will be much more laggy than a game running at 60 FPS, meaning that you're definitely going to be at an advantage if you can run games at a higher frame rate. Your monitor's refresh rate is the number of times your monitor refreshes with new images each second. This ties directly to your FPS, as your monitor can only output a maximum of 60 FPS if you have a 60 Hz monitor. Now, I know what some of you are already saying, but Saul, I play Valorant and it says I have more than 60 FPS, even with my 60 Hz monitor. Yes, your games can run at a high frame rate regardless of your monitor, and you'll likely be able to see a difference between 60 and 120 FPS, even on a 60 Hz monitor. However, your refresh rate determines that whilst the game may be outputting still images at 120 frames per second, your monitor is only capable of refreshing 60 times in one second. So the maximum you'll be able to see is 60 FPS. If you want to see more than that and have your games look smoother, then you'll want to look at monitors with 144Hz or even 240Hz refresh rates. I personally made the switch from 60Hz to 144Hz last year, and the difference is incredible for fast-paced games. Whilst there's nothing wrong with 60Hz, as it's certainly the cheaper option, I'd strongly consider making the leap to a higher refresh rate. Not only will the game look smoother, you're also at an advantage over those with lower refresh rates, as you'll be able to see those extra frames of someone peeking around a corner, and you can potentially react faster than you would otherwise. Resolution refers to the number of horizontal and vertical pixels on a screen. The more pixels you have, the better the image quality will be. For gaming, you'll be looking at three different resolutions, 920x1080, also known as 1080p or Full HD, 2560x1440, better known as 1440p or QHD, and finally 3840x2160, which you'll know as 4K. Now let's begin that by saying for eSports titles, 4K is overkill and not currently worth the investment. 4K monitors are still very expensive and so is the hardware you'd need in your PC to run games in 4K at a reasonable frame rate. So in eSports games, where graphics aren't all that impressive compared to something like Red Dead Redemption 2 or The Witcher 3, splashing a small fortune on a 4K monitor just for Rocket League or League of Legends won't net you any advantages against your opponents. That leaves us with 1080p or 1440p. 1080p is the current standard for gaming, but 1440p is becoming more affordable and more accessible as time goes on. This decision will likely come down to your budget and your hardware, as 1440p will require more powerful graphics cards to run at a high FPS. Either option is a good choice at the end of the day, but make sure to take the monitor's refresh rate into account too. On to the next point, response time. Response time is a measure of how quickly a pixel can change what it's displaying usually from one colour to another, measured in milliseconds. Not to be confused with input lag, response time dictates how much ghosting you'll experience in a game, which are those trails that follow fast moving images, creating a ghost-like effect. For gaming, you're going to want to aim for a monitor with 1-5ms to 5 ms response time, as the lower the response time, the better the overall clarity and quality you'll have. This is especially important in fast paced games, where being able to clearly see the enemy's body as you run around a corner can make all the difference. To finish off, I'll quickly run through some other things to keep in mind. Make sure that the monitor you buy has ports that also match your graphics card. Also, make sure that if you're using a monitor with higher than 60Hz, you use a display port over HDMI or you use a HDMI 2.0 cable. Speaking of refresh rates, make sure you manually change your monitor's refresh rate in your computer's settings. This is not done automatically and I can't tell you how many people have told me that they didn't know this before. Your monitor will either use a TN, VA or IPS panel. Each of these have their advantages and disadvantages, so I'd recommend you do your research about each of them. 
A quick summary would be that TN is the least expensive, VA has the most vibrant colours and IPS has the best image quality. It's also possible that your monitor will have either G-Sync or FreeSync built in. Again, I'd recommend doing your own research, but its job is to prevent screen tearing by synchronizing your refresh rate with your graphics card. G-Sync is only compatible with Nvidia cards, whereas FreeSync is compatible with AMD cards. Some FreeSync monitors do have G-Sync compatibility, however. Some monitors also have HDR, which stands for High Dynamic Range. This is a color technology that allows your monitor to display a broader spectrum of colors and contrasts, meaning lighter lights and darker darks. This doesn't tend to be that important for eSports games as very few of them support HDR. We hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please make sure to hit the like, share and subscribe buttons. If you want more content like this, visit our website britishesports.org and you can find links to all of our social media channels in the description down below.